So the first step in drafting the perfect employee handbook is deciding how you're gonna change it in the future. So let's talk about your right to revise policy. Now maybe you have the perfect employee handbook, a true work of art, and maybe you just pull it out every once in a while just to admire it. Nevertheless, California law is constantly evolving and your employee handbook is gonna to have to change to keep up with it. At the same time, you've crafted very careful policies. You don't want those to be undermined by a stray remark that somebody interprets as changing those policies. That's where your right to revise policy comes in because it sets forth the terms and conditions for changing any of the policies in your employee handbook. Now, a good right to revise policy will establish that you as the employer have the right to change the policies at any time without notice. In other words, the employee handbook is not a contract with your employees. The one exception that you want to express in there is that the at-will policy of the handbook will not change. So you'll want your right to revise policy to specify exactly how changes can be made. Almost universally, the policy should say that the changes must be in writing. From there though, there's many different approaches. Some policies state that the changes have to be signed by the president or CEO. But look at your handbook. Is it signed by the president and CEO? If not, is it effective to replace your past handbook? Make sure your policy meets your practice. A more flexible approach you might consider is to say that the changes have to be in writing expressly approved by the president or CEO. Whatever you do, make sure that your right to revise policy meets the goals and structure of your organization. I'll talk to you next time.